She had like heck time. Let's take this new little headlamp I've just uh, done up and take it for a bit of a test ride just down the driveway. And I might combine it with the new, one of the new lights that I've uh, purchased. I did a review on these, uh, a couple of videos. I'll put a link up, but we'll just test this. There we go. So I'll kind of show you just what it's like using the new bike lamp up on the handlebars and also the new cheap headlamp that I just purchased and just modified and put on top of my helmet. Now I'll just be using my phone so it is what it is. It's not the don't expect any crash hot camera work but it will give you an idea as to um you know what this is like. So I'll turn off the lights and we will crack on with it. All right so I'll give you an idea this will be the headlamp upon my my helmet. That's the first setting. Now bear in mind, we've got quite a few settings. Next one, that's a bit dimmer. Then there should be a spotty. There we go. And then there will be the spotty plus a flood, which is like that. So let's go for a bit of a one-handed ride, if I can. And this is, I'm actually really impressed. This is purely the helmet. Actually, this is going to be great. Now, if I just combine that with the new handlebar uh, light, that's the first setting, a bit stronger, a bit brighter. Look at that. This is brilliant, actually. So I've got my, my bike lamp. You can see my helmet moving as So I'm just filming this on my dodgy, cheapo Oppo phone. <laughs> um, but here I am riding just up my driveway and property. And I think that is just brilliant. A $10 bike light 
mounted up on my helmet and a $50 light up on my handlebars. So there we go. Let's just go for a ride. The wind's picking up, jeez. All right, that is, that's heaps of light. There's so much light if I was to go for a ride over at Daisy Hill or wherever. Brilliant, just brilliant. Right, eh? Hope that gives you an idea, um, you know, how to make a simple modification. And it actually sticks to my helmet really really well just with that dual lock velcro tape by 3m products all right that's just my helmet light and this will give you an idea of the slow strobe see that and the fast strobe and off all right so just back inside a few final words um, took this for a test ride as you just saw and for a $10 bike light that's rechargeable. It's got multiple settings. I think it's like a, a six different settings. And <laughs> yeah, this is cheap as chips from AliExpress. Just with a bit of consideration how to mount this, this is certainly one mounting option. Now, if you're wondering how strong it is, obviously it's not the strongest thing, but this dual lock Velcro material is surprisingly strong. And the way it works, if you've never used it before, it, it locks in um, surprisingly well. It requires a bit of force to, to remove. So the idea of this is the helmet is curved. Yeah, I know that. It's not flat. Ideally, it would be flat, but I don't have that option. But the beauty of this still is it can actually go at multiple angles. So put it in. It's pretty tight. You'll know if you've knocked it off, so you just go back and pick it up if that happens, but it probably won't happen much. And just lock it in place, whatever angle you want, and boom, you are good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that little, uh, this little hack, I think you can call it that. Pretty simple, but how good is this? $10, a dollar for a meter of this stuff. You have a exceptionally good helmet light for nighttime riding. I'm out.